Admittedly, I am no professional crooner, nor am I even an amateur, because look, I had to even look at the words to figure out this song. However, I am here in praise of the amateur. Before I get to that though, who here has not seen the Rocky movie, or at least heard of it, or at least seen one of the many, many variations of the Hollywood take on this fundamental American iconic theme of the underdog. The underdog fighting and conquering everything, getting knocked down over and over and over again, only to dust themselves off and to rise from the ashes like a phoenix and win at the end. <sighs> Amateur. Amateur. And then there is the phoenix. And then there's all these things that we have going along with this underdog American uh, cultural icon which is all these little positive sayings about how uh, do what you love and the money will follow. Uh, do what you love, follow your dreams, and you'll get lots of praise. All these external things. But when you get to the amateur, none of these things matter at all. Because the amateur is the whole definition of love. Now, if you look in the dictionary, there are words for amateur, and I won't even repeat, they're so negative. They are just filthy words. And they have nothing to do with the origin of the word, which is the French word for love. And it is love in its most sincere sense. And that's why. I am here in praise of the amateur, in honor of the amateur. Now, the way I got to this point was after five years trying to master the just infuriatingly difficult 12 beat rhythm of flamenco. I took multiple classes every single week for flamenco, I took private lessons. I made my own costumes. I bought costumes. I practiced at home. I practiced with others. I bought DVDs. I went to shows. I read books. I listened to the music. I can't remember what all I did. I did everything I could think of. Oh, I took more than one teacher thinking maybe something finally would just ratchet into place. But no matter what I did, I never felt good at it. I would tried with my best with my hands to make them swirl like graceful doves like you're supposed to carve my arms in arabesques as well as I could. I would swish my skirt with emotion and conviction and I would have a posture as rigid and as solid as I could and I would rather try to cut my heels as well as I could. No matter what I did. No matter what I did. If I was really lucky, on a super good day, maybe I was mediocre. And it was not until I threw in the towel, after those five infuriating years, that I learned amateurs. Amateurs are where it's at. Okay, yeah, professional. You know, they have to work hard, okay, they have to try, blah, 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 to get that money that I threw up and that praise and stuff. But it's easy to get out of bed every day and do something that you're getting paid for. It's easy to sink more money into it thinking that you're going to make even more money, that that money is just an investment. It's easy, even easy to do it if you're not making it. It 
money if everybody's telling you how tremendous you are at it and how much joy it brings them and how you should keep on doing it? Never. Go ahead and do something you love. Go pursue the hobby, the art, the interest that you love. Even if you're not getting any external validation whatsoever, life is the definition of a good life. Life is not a beginning, middle, end. It's not some goal. I'm not racing to die. I'm not racing to be born. I'm not racing to just be in the middle of things. It's every note of the whole entire song. It's every dance step of everything. It's just the embracing of each moment. And just whether it's a pratfall, whether it's some really awful thing or whether it's just the most beautiful, godlike thing possible, the most divine, that, that itself is divinity. And that's why I say all hail the amateur, the amateur who goes beyond attempting to master something like a 12 beat flamenco rhythm. Amateur who understands that what is truly important is to master the rhythm and to answer to the rhythm of one's own unique.